Hello brothers and sisters in Christ. Thought I'd do a little quick walk and talk. I got banned from YouTube for a week. Um, I think I mentioned bologna sandwiches. Wink, wink. And um, had some videos in the wine press. The, not videos, but um, web pages at the wine press that they might have been talking about the bologna sandwiches. Wink, wink. And uh, so YouTube didn't like it and took down my video when I was trying to just simply prove that I wasn't monetized. That was the whole point of it. And then I was supporting uh, some brothers in Christ, some of their videos. So what the Lord has done is blessed me with a Rumble account. I was able to get it up and running and I'm uploading some videos. So I'm uploading, I'm not monetized on YouTube video over there. And I'm starting to upload a lot of my old videos over there. To get caught up and right now what the plan's going to be brothers and sisters of christ is anytime i want to talk about bologna sandwiches i want to keep winking because some of you know what i'm talking about um when i go to talk about bologna sandwiches i'll just mention a quick video that i put out some new videos about what's going on in the world on rumble and then you guys can uh go over to rumble so um i'm gonna still try to use youtube as much as i can uh is it a sin for me to use youtube no is it a sin for me to um, give in to YouTube and not put up videos about what's going on in the world just because they don't like it? That is, I believe, is a sin. So, so that's what I'm going to be doing at, at Rumble. Um, so I'll mention videos here to head on over to Rumble. So I'll put the link to the channel down below. Um, so I haven't put out anything for over a week because I've been, uh, what it is, if you get dinged, you're told with for seven days you can't upload a video or anything so I haven't uploaded a video so I've been just really going through a lot of the the uh, I just put out a video recently about uh, the Godhead I've been going through a lot of brethren's uh, Godhead versus Trinity videos and really getting into those um, we'll be getting back to the um, three things that get in the way of a Christian's life and makes the Word of God unfruitful in your life and remember it's um, Sorry, my brain kind of slow a little bit. Cares of this world, deceitfulness of riches, and lust of other things. And we're going to get back to those videos. Then we're going to get back to some of the Armor of God videos. Um, I just want to do a walk and talk. Um, the Lord's blessed me getting the garden up and running, the chicken coop. I've upgraded it a little bit. Uh, I got uh, eight baby chickens that are not much babies anymore. So here in about a month or, or so, about probably a little bit more than a month, I'll be integrating them into with the the rest of the flock, the um, the older hens that are laying eggs. So, um, just the Lord's been working on me, but lately I just wanted to tell the brethren I feel the pressure, you know, the, the temptations, the vexation from the world, the temptation from the flesh, and times, like I said, it's, it's getting hard for the brethren out here, um, out here, but out there in the world. I just want to know I'm praying for you. Please pray for me. Uh, we really need to be coming together. As brothers and sisters in Christ we need to be of one mind and one body and we need to be there for one another and it just seems like it just seems like the the body of Christ is just in, in poor sorts lately I guess I you know it's just everybody's so distracted by cares of this world deceitfulness of riches and lust of other things that they don't people don't have much time to fellowship anymore and people don't have time to help out the brethren they're just everybody's going about living their own lives and everything and we're so spread out and so spread thin and i just want to encourage the brethren that we need to be praying for one another and we need to be fellowshipping with the brethren okay i'll put this in the uh got a car coming But I'll put this in the remarks section. All this walking. Got to walk back here to see if Victoria is following us. I think Victoria stayed behind. So Victoria stayed behind. Yeah. She's getting older too. Please pray. For, I know it's just, it's a dog. It's, it's um, a pet. But she's getting kind of older too. I used to go three walks a day with her. And... Now she can do one really good walk, and then the second walk isn't as good. So, but um, now today it's a busy day on this road. <laughs> so, I'll put down in the comment section 
um, the fact that I have uh, the, I have an email address for this ministry and I have a P.O. box. I'm paying for the P.O. box. I haven't got anything from any of the brothers and sisters of Christ in the P.O. box. It was there so you guys could mail me letters. I was hoping that some of the brethren might mail me, you know, you don't have to, but pictures. Uh, so I can put them up on my prayer wall because I love pictures to be able to look at them, you know. I've got a little bit of section section where you're lo I believe they're lost and I'm praying for them. And then I've got sections where they're safe brothers in Christ that need prayer requests. And it's always great to be able to put a face to the name. And I have it set up where every morning I wake up, I look and I can say, okay, i got to pray for this person. You know, i got to pray for that person. And um, the P.O. box was also there just in case you guys wanted to send. Uh, like I said, I'm not a big on taking donations because God's already provided for me. Uh, I know there's some ministries out there that their pri sole primary income is donations from the brothers and sisters in Christ, helping each helping them out, and that way they can be in ministry full time. Right? But it was also there for people who wanted to donate anything, like Bibles, for me to give out Bibles. I collect Bibles. Uh, you know, it's just there still, but just nobody's using it. So I don't know if I'll keep the P.O. box for much longer, but I just I want to kind of keep it just in case. But I've also got my email address. Uh, prayer and testimonies 2018.com uh, at outlook.com. But like I said, I'll put it in the description. Um, so, you know, you got a prayer requests, you know. We're supposed to be fellowshipping brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, we're supposed to be encouraging one another. And it just seems like a lot of us that are so isolated and everything, we're not getting the encouragement. And it just seems like we're getting distracted. Cares of this world's coming in distracting us. Uh, deceitfulness of riches, you know. Just I just need a little bit more, just a little bit more. I don't, I don't need to be a millionaire, but I just need a little bit more. And we'll get into that with the scriptures when it comes to a Christian. Um, how that deceitfulness of riches is not just the whole thing about, hey, you can be a millionaire, buy this lotto ticket. There's more to it. Okay. And then the lust of other things, our flesh, our struggles that we have daily. The Bible says we're supposed to confess our faults one to another. Okay, not our specific sins, but our faults one to another. Therefore, we can be held accountable one to another. I tell my faults to the brothers and sisters in Christ. I have addictions to video games, movies, TV shows. I had an addiction to porn. Okay? But that kind of sticks with you your whole life. Because you, those who have been addicted to it know that when you step out of your house and all those other things, movies, TV shows, that stuff's in there. And it's one of those things where, you know, you need encouragement from the brethren to hold, be held accountable. Okay. We need that fellowship. Like I said, I don't know why, but today it's a very, very busy day on this road today. <laughs> it's usually like nobody at this time, but lots of people. But, uh, okay. Um, but yeah, we need to encourage one another. That's what fellowship is. You talk about the word. You encourage one another. We talk about our vexation of what we see in the world, compare it to the Bible, and encourage people not to be part of this world, to be separate. Okay? So, fellowship is very important. Okay, It's not a requirement for salvation, but it's very important. Okay, I just want to encourage the brethren. So, this video has already gone on a little bit longer than I wanted it to, but uh, just remember, I got Rumble, so if you want to go over there and, and uh, sign up to the channel at Rumble, and like I said, I'm going to start putting out as much of my old videos as possible, and I'll try to keep mirroring new videos there. Also, I wanted to do a shout out to any of the brothers and sisters in Christ, anybody who knows how to do web pages, um, or some of the new technology today where you can do web pages and everything. Um, you guys can hit me up with some links to some of those programs. I'm thinking that a great way to do the website is just to have a a free speech, I can preach the word of God, not be censored by YouTube, is to have a web page that the tabs that I have on there are like playlists, so I can put tabs, and I can put all the videos on there on a, on a web page, and I can even use Rumble as a link, so when you click on the video, it links you to Rumble, or I can just upload my own videos on my own web page. Uh, it's just something, whatever's out there, I'm not good with the technology and what's, you know, 
going on out there. So just want to throw that out there. I thought that would be just great to have my own website and I can link Rumble. Or I could upload my own videos and still keep all the videos in order as far as Godhead, Eternal Security, and that kind of thing. You know, Bible version issue, you know, expository studies, that stuff. To have still have like playlists would be nice. So if any of the brethren out there are really into the, uh, tech, uh, the, the internet and know how to do these things, I could use some advice. Um, so that was just a quick walk, so quick walk and talk. Okay? I'm back. I was just off for a week. And my solution is, is I'm not going to just give up on YouTube completely because I can still preach the word and they're not censoring us yet. It's just when you go to try to say what's going on out there and apply it to the word with the baloney sandwiches, um, they really get upset at you. So we don't have free speech on YouTube, I understand that. So that's why I'm kind of slowly drifting over trying to find a way to set up a platform of my own and that way you can have free, I can have free speech and not be censored. So I want to thank all the brethren for their prayers, brothers and sisters in Christ out there for your prayers. And just we're, we're in the last days. You know, Jesus could come back any day now. Just continue to there's a glare in my glasses. <laughs> Just continue to pray for one another, be there for one another, stay in the Word of God, and continue to stand, stand, stand in your life for Jesus Christ. And remember, if you drop that cross, drop the pride, deny yourself, pick up your cross daily, and continue to follow Jesus Christ. So grace and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all, and my love for you, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Thank you for watching.